chlorine is put into the water to, as a way of keeping it, um, the water clean and safe. And, and by that we mean not allowing bugs to grow in the water so it's safe to drink and it's not got you know, macromolecules in the water that are going to kill you. Um, but chlorine per, se, chlorine per se is a very toxic chemical and you know, neat chlorine on your skin will burn. Um, and obviously at the levels that put into the water it doesn't do that and it's, it's safe to drink. Um, uh, the question is whether or not you'd either choose to drink it or to put it onto your skin. And I think it's fine to get it to your house you know, in, in a, a safe way without being contaminated and so forth, but myself in my house, particularly if I'm going to use you know, natural products on, on my body or, uh, and so forth, um, then I would uh, be keen not to be putting chlorine on, on my body. People who this is, I think is really important for are people who've got skin problems. So if you've got eczema, you know, or psoriasis, these types of dermatological problems, they're often aggravated by chlorinated water. So um, that's where you can put in a, uh, on the whole of the main system, you can put on a, a filter which will remove the chlorine um, from, the, from your water. So you don't, when you bath and shower in it, you don't, um, uh, you, you've, you've taken out the chlorine. Um, and I think that we see for a lot of people with skin conditions that that really improves their skin conditions, makes it less aggravated, less inflamed. So it would be a good thing to consider doing. Um, it's not something that I think necessarily everybody would need to do, but I can absolutely understand why people would consider doing it, and I think it's a very sensible thing to do.